Alright, I know you guys love these videos, so I am back at it again with another top 10 best-selling denim bubble brands for Poshmark in 2021. Let's get it. If you guys don't already know who I am, my name is Aralia, otherwise known as Marty Chick, and I make a ton of reseller content here on YouTube. So if you wouldn't mind tapping that little subscribe button down below and hitting the notification bell right next to it, it would help me out so much. And of course, even before we get into this, if you find this information helpful in any way, like this video. It helps me out so much in the YouTube algorithm and really helps this channel grow. You guys can listen to this video if you would like to. You don't necessarily need to be looking at the screen, but if you want to see the brands as well as the styles that I've picked up, keep on watching. I actually know through my YouTube analytics that a lot of you have found me through these What Sell Well videos, so I did decide to continue making them since it's been over a year since I have made my last one. But speaking of that, this is something that really bothers me, but I felt like it was very important for me to mention. I have noticed so much plagiarism when it comes to these types of videos on other people's channels and I have no problem with people recreating my videos. Honestly, I think the more people that it reaches, the better. However, I will say I made the last video on this one over a year ago and recently, a few months ago, I found someone that literally recreated the entire video word for word. So I really thought that it was imperative that I get this information out there for you guys because I think that this is the determination between a part-time seller and a full-time seller knowing what brands sell for the most money and are in the best demand right now. I don't need you guys going back and thinking that you really need to pick up Madewell jeans for $20 now or you really need to pick up any types of pair of jeans that I mentioned in that last video that are no longer as relevant. So today I have searched up some ISO items on Poshmark and these are the most requested ones. Of course, I always encourage you guys to do your own research on this so if you don't trust my word for it, go and check these out yourself. But I will be doing more of a quick and dirty approach with this sort of stuff. So I'm going to be naming the brand, showing you a photo of what the tag looks like, as well as the highest selling styles and images of those and the comps. The comps are so important, I know. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. Before we get into the brands, however, I did just want to mention a quick tidbit about styles. And don't skip over this. There is a debate of style versus brand on Poshmark. Obviously, a brand gets you more visibility, more eyes in your closet, but style is equally as important because that could be the determining factor of whether or not someone actually buys the item. So what styles are the most popular in 2021? Firstly, and most importantly, ditch the skinny jeans. Skinny jeans are a staple in anyone's wardrobe, and I do think that they will still go, but if you're looking for higher comps and for more trendy items, I would skip the skinny jeans for right now. Anything that is high-waisted or has a high rise is more in style than things that are a low to mid-rise. Additionally, something that is new is that people want a full-length jean. If you are looking for a trendier pair of jeans, they will not be as cropped anymore as others. However, if you do find a cropped flare, I still think that those have a chance of going faster. Some more tips here, black jeans and white jeans will always be less popular than blue jeans and colorful styles, or at least that's what I found within my own reselling experience and when I was researching these items. And with that said, 70 styles are coming back. So I've noticed within a lot of different fashion realms that cowboy boots are back and fringe is back. So with the jeans section, that is no different. So straight leg styles or slimmer styles are back in fashion as well as the boot cut and the flare jeans. And the last thing that I wanted to mention also in terms of style is that embroidered styles and hand beaded styles have been way more popular right now than they have been in the past. So if you do find embroidered styles, I would be picking those up regardless of brand. So let's jump into the brands. I know this is exactly what you guys wanted to know. The first brand is called Emma Jean and Willa, if I'm saying these correctly, and their top styles are the Catherine and Sophie Weston jeans. These are primarily both straight leg jeans and you can find them in basic medium washes. These are the most popular styles from them. You can also find other styles from them that still sell pretty well, but these have the highest comps and are the most searched on Poshmark. The comps for Imogen and Willa go anywhere from $160 to $70 depending on condition, wear, and style. So with all of these things in mind, if you are finding a great pair of straight leg jeans from them, I highly would recommend listing those immediately. The second brand is actually one that I hadn't heard of before and it was called Like a Wolf. 
and it has two K's and two L's. I'm reading off this little thing down below. The top styles from them are also a straight leg jean, but this is called the Ranch Pant. They have some sort of cutouts on the top that make them like more like a cowboy jean, if that makes sense, with a western flare. There is definitely a 70s vibe going on here with these types of jeans. The comps for Lake Wolf are similar to Imogene and Willa, and they are $150 to $70. Again, there's a huge range here, and especially if you are used to selling higher profitable items in your closet, your customers are more willing to buy the high profit items. So keep this in mind also when you are pricing your closet items. The third brand is a brand that is so searched on Poshmark right now and almost no one can find these, but they are Rudy Jude pants. Everyone wants a pair of their Western utility jeans. They are so cute right now and people are definitely willing to pay up for them. So if you do find a pair of these vintage-esque looking jeans, they can sell from anywhere from $280 to $170. Also, if you find any styles that are similar to this type of Western utility jean, like a vintage pair of denim, there is a high chance that even in the vintage market, they will sell a little bit faster right now. The fourth brand is a brand that's really popular with influencers right now, and that is Jessie Cam. Jessie Cam has a ton of floatier jeans or straight to slim leg jeans that are very popular right now and very flattering to anyone's silhouette. Their comps range from $295 to $175. They definitely have a more simple type of anthropology look to them, in my opinion. Um, they're very highly searched on Poshmark right now. We are almost halfway through here guys, so if you wouldn't mind giving this video a little thumbs up down below, it really helps me out for the algorithm. Going into the next brand here, it is Paloma Wool. Now Paloma Wool is a really popular brand across Poshmark as a whole, so if you do find anything from them, I think that it's profitable to pick up. But I will say from Paloma Wool, their highest ranked styles are anything with a straight leg fit that has a funky pattern or some color blocking on it. They just have a bunch of fun designs that I really liked when I was searching these up. So I thought it was worth mentioning because you guys will definitely be able to pick these out in the thrift store. The comps for these range from $165 to $70. But even if you guys don't find these near thrift stores, I think it'd actually be worth doing some online retail arbitrage to find these items, especially if someone doesn't know their worth. All of the brands that I have mentioned so far are over $50 and they will continue to be. This entire video is meant to be something of a resource for you guys to know what are the top high sellers on Poshmark and additionally what types of bolo brands you guys should be looking for. So none of these are the basic or average brands that you've heard of before, but I do think they're super helpful. The sixth brand today is Rachel Comey, if I'm saying that correctly, and a lot of her straight leg blue jeans go very well. I will say that her black to white jeans don't go as well, but they are still pretty profitable on Poshmark, so if you do find them, I would recommend picking them up, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend paying up for them. The comps for these are $140 to $60, depending on the style and the age of the garment, but this brand I definitely think still has potential. The seventh brand here is actually one that has not been sold yet on Poshmark. So this is very interesting. So when I was doing my research, I actually used an ISO search, as I mentioned previously, which if you guys want me to have in another video, I definitely can tell you guys how I was searching up these items. This brand of denim was the most highly searched on Poshmark, but there are only two different listings on this available. So I did want to mention this because I think it will be a new breakthrough item, especially if you can find it for a low enough online retail arbitrage. The brand is Ozma, O-Z-M-A, and they have a wide leg trouser that seems to go very, very well. Right now, the listings are at $100 and $90, but I could guess that these would sell anywhere over $80 on Poshmark, especially since those two items already have a ton of likes. So if you're looking to get into this brand, I would recommend doing it before the fall because I think in the fall and winter, this brand is definitely going to blow up on Poshmark. The eighth brand is a Revolve brand, and it is called Silver Lake in all caps without the vowels. The straight leg blue jean styles in these win again. I would say that these are similar to a Goldie being from the Revolve brand, but they are just such a pretty pair of jeans for someone. So the comps for these ones ranged for $130 to $60 depending on style. And again, I do think that I would pay up for these types of jeans, especially since the listings are so high. 
I have seen most of the listings listed anywhere from the high 100s to the low 200s on these, but the comps that I could find for these were only here. I saw a lot of flippers doing the online retail arbitrage thing when I was looking at the sales. Some people don't know the value of their item and they're listing low quality photos, so some will swoop in and relist that item for more. That is just the name of the game, I guess, but yeah, if you do want to get in on that, I would recommend searching out this brand. The ninth brand here is a classic, and that is Show Me Your Moo Moo. I would say that Show Me Your Moo Moo has been on the decline. I don't think that it is as profitable as before, but people are really looking for their Bells jeans. These are just a super wide flare jean from them in all sorts of fun colors and patterns. So these are highly sought after at the moment on Poshmark. The comps for these range anywhere from $85 to $65 if you are more on the low side. And the last brand here is one that you've probably heard about before from me, and that is Reformation. I will say that some of their older styles don't necessarily go as well, so be sure to do your research, but I have had some of their pairs of jeans in these straight leg or slim styles, and they have had a ton of attention so far. I'm hoping for some sales soon, but the jeans on these do sell for over $75, about average. So I think that they're a good find, and if you are willing to pay up for them, I think that they're a good brand to resell. Those are all of the brands I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and of course, if you did, leave this video a little thumbs up down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I have a ton more of these What Sell Well videos to produce for you guys, so I will be coming out with another one here soon. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!